Hello friends, welcome to ANSYS Artistry. Glad you could join me here today. This is my first time working on a wooden piece. This is a wood round, um, 12 inches in size. I don't know what kind of wood it is, but I've given it three layers of gesso just to give it a protective layer so my paints wouldn't warp the wooden piece. Um, the theme or the aim for today's painting is going to be fire. So I'm going to have a black base and layer down reds, orange and yellow uh, and try to create something that would make it look like fire. So I've already checked if the wood round is level and yes it is. So I'm going to put down the base paint. Um, the base paint and all the colors that I'm going to be using today are mixed with Floetrol and water. One part paint, two part Floetrol and a little bit of water and all of them have similar consistency. Um, it's too small to be using a hair dryer for this so I'm just going to blow it out using my mouth and I hope that it's going to work. So now I'm going to put down the base paint. So I've put down the black base paint. The black base paint is actually the Artist Loft soft body acrylic paint mixed with Floetrol and water. Now I'm going to pop all these small air bubbles. Now let's start layering the paints. Um, first color that I'm going to be using is Naptol Red Deep by Amsterdam. So I'm going to just do this part of the design. If it needs more design, I'm going to add the same colors on this side a little bit. But I'm just going to start like this and see because this is a smaller size piece. Um, it's going to be really tough to make a lot of design and it's not going to look good. The design will look good when you have negative space. So I'm going to start with this part and we'll see how it goes. The next color is Pyrrol Red by Amsterdam. Next, I have Cadmium Orange Hue by Liquitex. And then I have Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue by Liquitex as well. And then I'm going to top it off using Zinc White by Amsterdam. I felt that the base paint is a little bit less, so I'm going to add a little bit on the sides.
And that's it. Popping all the air bubbles now. Okay. Now let's blow it out. So I've decided not to add any more paint on this side because already the negative space is so less. But look at this part. Does it look like fire to you? It definitely does look like fire to me. I love how this one has blended and I love the white spots. It's gonna be bright uh, even when it dries, so perfect. I don't want to change anything. I might want to blow this over a little bit. I'm thinking about that. Maybe I should do that. Yep, that looks much better. Okay. I guess I'm done. I'm going to fix all these edges or all the sides. Then I will bring you down for a close-up. Here we go with the close-up. I don't see anything else other than fire here. Perfectly blended in to make it look like fire. I really love those white parts. Those streaks are going to make the whole painting look brighter when it dries. I love adding the zinc white into my paintings just for that reason. Isn't it beautiful? Perfect against the black base. I'm happy how this one has turned out. Fire is what I wanted and fire is what I get. <laughs> I've already scraped down the edges one time i'll have to do it again uh, in maybe 10 minutes or so just to make sure you know the paints on the sides doesn't pull my design to the side so i have to keep an eye on it and scrape down the drips two three times but just look how this one looks i'm very happy with how this painting has turned out it is on fire today well, if you have liked how this painting has turned out today, do hit that thumbs up button and please consider supporting my art channel through subscription, shares, likes and comments. I greatly appreciate you doing that for me and I hope to see you all in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye. Happy pouring.